Hello everybody and welcome back to Frostpunk. I think the name of the game today is going to be upping our resource storage so we can start really stockpiling all these resources we have extra of because we're just losing out on efficiency when we're at capacity and our facilities aren't able to work anymore. Refugees from Frostland, unexpected guests, Captain, a group of exhausted survivors have reached our city. From their frantic explanations, we know they've come a great distance and that many of them died along the way. The phrase doom is coming keeps being repeated and they say many more refugees are following them. They're begging for you to help them, sir. Of course we'll help them. We've got plenty of room in the city. Um, but that means more mouths to feed. So there's a second order of business as well, which is going to be more food production. Nope, we don't want more hunters huts, we want more hunters hangers. Let's build like three more to be safe. Of course it's gonna cost us more steel than we have. But okay, sure, we'll help them. Um happy to do so. Is this the expedition of people? Okay. We'll be ready for them. Um Right, what are we currently researching? Advanced steelworks. Okay, this is gonna be great. This is gonna up our steel production. Maybe we should have researched this a long time ago. Oops, I want uh, speed two. All right, great. So we've unlocked advanced steelworks and I think the next thing we need, what is this? More efficient, um, more efficient coal mines. That might be really good for us. But right now I think the name of the game is going to be resource depot upgrades into large resource depots. And then we'll we'll start getting um, other things as well. Um, of course, we're gonna need roads leading out to this. That's fine. That's fine, okay, perfect. The tempo has influenced some people to mend their ways. I don't even know what that means in this in this scenario. Why do we have starving people? We have so many food rations. I really don't know. Now this, of course, uh, can be set to coal. And our factory... I think we're going to save our steam cores. Because we might need them for like advanced coal mines. So I'm not going to build more automatons right now. Okay, our scouts have reached the wrecked vehicle. We found the wreck of some sort of vehicle. We can salvage some parts in it. Yes, it has steel. Alright, well, this is assembling the wreck to salvage what we could from it, we found a hidden cache of supplies. 105 steel, we'll take it. Now, do we want to... No, we should keep going. We should push forward. I don't think we're going to just ferry like a hundred steel back to the city. That's totally not worth it. Keep pressing forward. All right. So let's go ahead and assign workers to these hunters hangers. We're probably going to need another cookhouse. Um, where are our cookhouses currently? Here's one. Do I have another? We're making soup. Here's another cookhouse that's currently chilly. We can totally add another cookhouse. Like right here. Um, this of course is next to the, these steelworks, which will probably actually keep heated throughout the, um, throughout the coming days. I don't think we're gonna automate the steelworks as soon as we're going to keep coal automated. So let's go ahead and not a hunter's hanger, cookhouse. We'll get more cookhouses to cook meals. We're going to need some resource depots for food rations. I think another technology I have my eyes set on is 
This one, building like fully insulated houses. We'll get there eventually. I'm gonna go to um, my workshops and I'm gonna actually have these people work extended hours. It's gonna create a little bit of discontent. It's gonna create a little bit of discontent for sure, but it's gonna allow us to research a lot faster. I think this is necessary. All right, cookhouse, we'll go ahead and assign the max number of workers here. We have one available automaton apparently. Okay, so we have an automaton working the steel coal mine, the steam coal mine. We have an automaton working here. We have no one working with this coal pile for some reason. Um, I think we still need one more automaton to work this steam coal thumper here. Once that's done, we can uh, just turn off the steam hub. Perfect. Scouts have reached the supply depot. Okay, let's see what's going on here. The shack is falling apart, but its contents have some value to us. There's wood and raw food. That's less good. Not as good as the, the steel and what, what not. All right. Um, well, I think that's everything. So let's pull them back to the city. Um, this scout team, we can probably just disband. We can always make a new one if we need it, but it's not currently doing anything. Okay. Are we still, um, are we still receiving steam cores? Hopefully we should be. I feel like we've been at one steam core all episode long, so I don't know how often we get one. Okay. So we research faster gathering, so the next thing we need to research is resource depot upgrade. Be able to store 50% more resources. Fantastic. Um, Another thing I want to keep doing is probably building more storage. Resources, resource depot. Okay, so if this is steel storage, we're not really running out of space for steel storage right now. Um, this is wood. We're doing all right on wood storage. Where are all our coal storage? Is that over here? Yes, it is. Resource depot, coal, 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 coal. Coal, we're, we definitely need to spend a lot of uh, time on. And then uh, we're gonna get some for raw food and rations as well. I think we can put a bunch of like raw food storage maybe over here. These are coal as well, aren't they? Let's look at the temperature overlay, make sure none of our people are too cold uh, at their work jobs. Um, this cookhouse can probably be heated. Um, okay, I think we're doing okay here. Okay, we need some more resource depots. I'm gonna put them by the cookhouse. Um, this of course is set to steel. This of course is set to food rations. So let's make another couple for food rations. Um, I think what we'll do is we will I think we'll kind of like box off a little area here. And we can put food rations, food rations. Okay. The last thing we're going to need is raw food storage. And I think we're going to put those right here next to all the hunter's huts. And hopefully we should have plenty of storage. Okay. Next thing we can research is large resource depots. This is going to let us, um, I guess, be a little more efficient. Then we're going to start researching like houses and whatnot. Okay.
just looking on the radar we are dropping to minus 70 degrees um, in a little bit and I forgot to build my new advanced steelworks that's gonna be big okay we said this is all going to be what cooked food food rations food rations Check these out. Advanced Steelworks. Produce 15.6 steel per hour. Large resource depots have been researched. Alright, so next thing we want to do is either coal mine efficiency or flying hunter gear would improve our ability to collect things. Infirmary checklist, heal people faster. Um, coal mining rationalization. I think... We want to get some a couple level 5 technologies, but I think while we're in level 4, we want to research house. We need 25 steel for that. And of course, these steel mines won't be producing us... Oh, I think we have just enough now for house. Okay, there we go. Perfect. How big are the large resource depots? Hundred fifty wood and seventy five steel. Um, this is, of course, food rations. Refugees from Frostland running from the storm. A huge crowd of people have reached our city. Many of them are sick. They say that some kind of enormous weather anomaly is coming our way and that they'll die without help. We have survived it. We'd never have survived it. Thank our lucky stars that the polar. Explorer Nansen warned us about the disaster and told us to evacuate. Please let us in. Everyone's welcome. 30 of them are ill. Only the healthy ones are welcome. No, everyone is welcome. Everyone is welcome. We need um, space for 40 more homes. We can totally do that. Not right now. Unless we make an emergency shift. Let's do an emergency shift at the steelworks. So we can get some steel to build some more houses. Some more bunk houses. One. Two. Three. We're gonna need one more. All right, where else do we have uh, heat coming from? I think we'll have heat here. Yep, okay. We're doing just fine, we're doing just fine. Okay. So we should have houses for everybody now. Homes for everyone, and our infirmaries are a little bit crowded and overworked, but hopefully they'll start getting through the backlog of people quickly enough. Alright, let's see about building any large resource depots. Of course, what we're short on is the wood. I never thought that would be the problem. We have a wall drill. Can we actually upgrade the wall drill? I don't think, even think we re we researched a steam wall drill and sawmill. Can we build another wall drill? We can. There's no reason not to. All right. Might as well get some more people gathering wood at this point. Never thought we'd be hurting for wood. Here we go. Perfect. What's this um, space right here? I think that's a space for something, but I'm not sure what. We have to get organized. We have to do something. All our work will be for nothing if we leave. I'm staying. Of course we're going to get organized. We're going to be fine. Some kind of storm is coming. Nothing we can't handle. Nothing we can't handle. OK. 
Okay, perfect. Hopefully the steam cup hub should be within range to heat this. It is not in range. Huh. Wonder if we can just nudge it ever so slightly. Probably not. This one will have to heat individually. It's still freezing. We wouldn't want any p people to work there. Okay. Um, nothing we can't handle. Nothing we can't handle. We just need another steam hub. Maybe it's a little bit of a waste. But we will make use of this space. I think we can add probably a bunch of like resource depots and stuff here. Uh, we do need roads leading out to steam hub like that and we can build our steam hub along this road and I don't know what that is for but we might as well build it out here so it can cover that spot so if we ever do build a building there it'll be covered and we can have 10 people working here and we have a new event a tip from a believer a man told us that his neighbors are planning to organize a protest. Our men are following the lead. Discontent will fall. Fantastic. So, I don't know what's happening to all our steam cores. When are we going to get more steam cores? Oh, apparently in 50 minutes. Okay, perfect. Now, let's look at where we have a lot of resource depots and see if we can't replace them with large resource depots. Um, but, house redesign, that'll make them cheaper to build. I think we do this, yes, for sure. And then, uh, preparing for this temperature drop, we're probably going to want to start researching some, like, generator heat upgrades. Okay, perfect. Now this um, steam hub, we're gonna just set to working hours. So we're not gonna put homes and stuff here. We're just gonna have it set for working hours. Here we go. For a 10 hour work day. Perfect. Okay. Okay, we're doing okay. We're gonna need a lot more house houses. Uh, there's more refugees coming. The automaton stuck automaton, sir. The automaton has entangled itself hopelessly in its assigned building. We can't free it without at least partially dismantling one or the other, and that means shutting down either the automaton or the building. Uh, we can shut down the automaton or we can shut down the steam coal mine. Sure, we can shut down the automaton. For that, for now, we can just uh, max. We can just uh, staff the steam coal mine with people. Um, these were all going to be coal, but actually, I wonder if we couldn't. No need to dismantle and build new resource depots. How big is a large resource depot? I think we just build the large resource depots in addition to what we already have. Yeah, I think we'll go ahead and build a large resource depot here for coal. Perfect. We don't have enough wood to build all these streets. Okay, our scouts have returned safely to the city. I don't know why I can't build these streets. Interesting. This uh, this stretch of roads does not want to exist. That's fine. Okay. Um, if there's any other resources that we're running really full on, like food, we might build a large resource depot for them as well. Serious accident. The automaton. Sir, there's been an accident. The automaton has stepped on a man, crushing his leg and crippling him for life. People argue that the automaton should walk more slowly and carefully, even at the cost of efficiency. We cannot afford it. Discontent will rise slightly. The automatons will remain a threat. That's fine. 
Um, we need to make sacrifices, and unfortunately, this is one. Um, let's go ahead and build a prosthesis for the one guy who got crippled. We're very sorry to hear that. It's not ideal, I know. But we have to do what we have to do for the good of for the good of our people. So we researched houses, and after we're done rece researching house de redesign, I think we should be golden to start building a bunch of new houses for all these new uh, refugees that are coming in. Three hours away, we're going to have some refugees. All right, house redesign has been re researched. Um, let's see what else we want to get. Coal mining rationalization might be good, but I think we really need to get into heating. Not advanced heaters, I think we want generator power upgrade, generator range upgrade, generator efficiency upgrade might be good, steam hub efficiency might be good. But for now, uh, we want to worry less about efficiency and just about being able to heat enough. Okay. Home redesign has been complete, so let's go to people, house. See, where do we actually have heater availability? Looks like we have heater availability here. I wish the, um, the prayer halls didn't have a little overlay of their own. That confuses me because it's hard to st distinguish between places that are warm and places uh, places that are covered by um, places of worship. I think we can probably build some more houses around here and we can probably build a steam hub, a little community here. So we can build a house, build a house, 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 house house that's going to cover us for the next many visitors who come um, to our city. We're going to make sure we build plenty of roads to connect it all up, make this city easy to traverse for people. And perfect. And perfect. Okay. Plenty of new houses for people. Okay. We have lots to, we have lots to rebuild. We're going to need more storage for food rations. All the food rations we have stockpiled are about four days worth of food rations. That's pretty good. That's already pretty good. Um, right here is where we're keeping all of our food rations. I wonder if we could fit in a large resource depot. Not a normal size resource depot. Large resource depot in somewhere here. We totally can. In fact, I think this will be a good place for it. We can have probably two in here if we really want need to fit some more in. Okay. Perfect. We'll set that to store food rations. We have a lot of construction projects in the city right now that, and not many of them are getting done. This scouts team is sitting and doing nothing. Do we have anything to actually do? Oh, we can actually use our scouts team to escort the refugees. I think we should do this. So there's one refugees that are arriving in one hour. Okay, so maybe we do want to have another scouts team at the ready. Okay, we'll go back to our um, beacon. We need 40 wood to create a scout team. 40 wood that we just don't have right now. Why are we not generating any wood? The refugees from Frostland, the second wave. Another huge group of refugees have arrived. They're in even worse condition than the previous one. Many of them victims of frostbite. They all talk about a huge storm coming from the south. Nansen led us north because his years ago, uh, because his years exploring the Arctic taught him to survive here using the natural resources. Nobody could have guessed that what was coming though. Uh, should we let them in? Of course, everyone is welcome. Okay, 
We have another uh, influx of visitors here. Hopefully we have homes for them all. We have a lot of sick that we need to treat in our medical tents. Now that we are kind of running up to capacity with our medical situation, uh, maybe we want to consider signing some different laws. And then I think we're going to end the episode here. But triage. We'll be able to dedicate all our efforts to healing those who can recover quickly at the cost of sacrificing the more severely ill. No, we don't want to do that. We don't want to do that. I think we'll we'll just we'll just eat it. We might build more infirmaries if we need more more capacity. All right, I think we're going to end it here though. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.